Getting your paycheck protection loan forgiven just got a whole lot easier. If you're like me, a small business owner, you've probably wondered why there's been practically zero updates or news regarding your paycheck protection loan in months. We've been told to wait, we've been told there's gonna be a streamlined process, but it's taken forever. And well, I'm happy to announce we finally have a much more simple solution, a two-page application for paycheck protection forgiveness that takes only a few minutes to fill out. Really, it's one page and then some personal Personal, optional details if you want to fill out after that but in this video I'm gonna go over that simplified application step by step so you can follow along for your business I'm also going to go over a chart to ensure you fill out the correct form to make sure this is the right one for you and I'm going to cover all the important secondary details about this new application as well so I would recommend watching the entire video in order to make sure you are taking the correct path for your business and getting full forgiveness also consider liking this video if you want to come back later if you're not filling out the application right now as you watch it. So starting out with some context, back in April, millions of small businesses had received paycheck protection forgivable loans, which were set to be spent in eight weeks and fully forgiven if a business had met certain criteria, things like not reducing payroll more than 25%. However, by May, many businesses had the issue that their eight week window was running out and they would not receive complete forgiveness under the current guidelines. The forgiveness window was then extended to 24 weeks, which gave many businesses relief, but left the issue of reductions in payroll, reducing total loan forgiveness and this extremely complicated forgiveness application. I mean, I made a video on the first forgiveness application and it was a total nightmare. It took like 25 minutes just to go through, I think there was 13 pages to go through calculations back and forth up and down it was crazy then a second application came out that was slightly easier to follow but not much easier it still included payroll calculations and forgiveness ratios it wasn't easy but it was much easier than this 13 page behemoth well, last Friday, the SBA came out with the Paycheck Protection Forgiveness Form 3508S. This form gives 100% forgiveness to paycheck protection loans under $50,000 with much, much less hassle than any form before it. This doesn't make forgiveness automatic, but it's pretty darn close. Looking at the instructions for this form, nearly all the confusing parts of the last forms have been eliminated. You're gonna be really excited about this if you have a loan under $50,000. The most important elimination being a paycheck protection loan recipient of less than $50,000 is no longer required to reduce forgiveness if the small business first reduces wages of employees during the loans covered period compared to the reference period. So to translate that to English, in the past, if let's say you had an employee who made $4,200 a month in February, but then the pandemic hit and you reduced their pay 25% to $3,150 per month, this would have affected your paycheck protection loan forgiveness in the past, but not anymore with this new form if your loan's under $50,000 in total. And then second, your paycheck protection loan won't be reduced if your business reduced the total number of full-time equivalent employees while under your paycheck protection loan. This is very similar to the first reason where in the past this would affect your total loan forgiveness, but not anymore for loans under $50,000. Basically, with this new form, you still have to do the math for forgiveness, but you don't have to show how you got those figures. However, it's important to note that the SBA still can request documents from you if they suspect any shady business, so I wouldn't recommend fudging any numbers or anything like that. Do it honestly. Now, let's take a look at this chart that explains exactly who should use each form. There's three different forms. So you can see with this new form, the 3508S, you must have less than a $50,000 loan. We talked about that, but this is also less than $2 million in aggregate loans. What this means is if a business owner owns part of multiple businesses that each received less than $50,000 in paycheck protection loan separately, he or she can still use the new streamlined form for each of those businesses. You can see you also don't have to adjust for lowered wages or lowered number of employees. You don't have to use the Schedule A worksheet, which is one of the most confusing parts of the other ones. It makes the calculations for payroll. 
and you calculate your own forgiveness and you don't need to show your work. The next one is the regular form 3508. This is the longest application which goes to businesses with larger loans that reduce payroll more than 25%. You must adjust forgiveness on this one based on decreases in payroll and number of employees, and you must show your work on the Schedule A worksheet and provide proof of your numbers with relevant documentation. And then we have the 3508EZ form. This can be used if you hit one of the following three requirements. First, you're self-employed, a sole proprietor or contractor with zero employees, you can use that form. Second, you have employees, but you didn't reduce wages more than 25%, and you did not reduce the number of employees average hours between January 1st and the end of the covered loan period. With this easy form, you don't need to do the Schedule A worksheet, but you do need to calculate the forgiveness on the form itself and show some documentation proof of the numbers where you got these calculations. All right, now that we have all that covered, let's go over to the new form, the 3508S. We'll go over to the computer here. So at the top, this is just the basic business information. I just made up a fake business, ABC LLC. You should know all that for your business. Below here, we have the SBA Paycheck Protection Loan Number and the Lender Paycheck Protection Loan Number. That should both be on your loan documentation for your PPP loan. What your total loan amount was, the date you received funds, the number of employees at the time of your application, the number of employees at the time of your forgiveness. I just put numbers in here. What you received as an EIDL advance, that's really important. Um, what your EIDL application number was, that should be on your EIDL application. Uh, what your forgiveness amount is, that's what you calculate yourself. I just filled that in here. And then these are just some check boxes, so I'll run through these real quick just so you can understand what you're checking off. The first one is asking you to confirm that you're not asking for more forgiveness than your total loan size. You use the loan on eligible expenses like wages or rent payments. Payroll accounts for at least 60% of your loan forgiveness amount. Forgiveness does not give an owner employee more than $20,833 if you use the 24 week covered period, or $15,385 if you use the eight week covered period. That's just based on what you chose. The second box here, or let me check this real quick, just throw an X there. The second box here is saying the money was not used on unauthorized expenses. I sure hope not. We'll check that. Third one, you have verified the numbers and eligible expenses. We'll check that. Fourth one, you have sent your lender documentation showing expenses before receiving your initial loan. I don't know how you would have received a loan if you didn't do that, but obviously we did that. The next one, the information you're providing is accurate. Otherwise, you agree to be slapped with a huge fine. Let's check that. Then we have the tax documents you have submitted to your lender are accurate. They sure are. And then you understand that the SBA may request more information, so don't lie to them. We'll check that. And then from here, you just sign it, print your name, date it, title, and that's it. There's some information down here. It's optional. You don't have to fill it out. Like I said, it's really just one page. You send that in. So you still need to spend at least 60% of your total paycheck protection loan on wages or wage-like expenses in order to get 100% forgiveness. So this application doesn't just give everyone 100% forgiveness, but it makes it a whole lot easier. You don't have to break everything down, certify how you got those numbers. Do it accurately, but it's much more simple. So you have to do the calculations yourself. It's just much, much more simple. So that's really about it. Now the question is whether you should fill out this application right now or should you wait a little while? One of the problems we don't have a solution to yet is how loan forgiveness will be treated on your taxes. Under current guidelines, the loan itself is not taxable income. However, anything you spend the loan on that is subsequently forgiven is not tax deductible. So if you spend $30,000 on payroll, you still will have to pay taxes as a business owner on that $30,000. It's this weird non-double dipping stipulation that the IRS wants. Pretty much everyone agrees that it shouldn't be done that way except for the IRS. So this is an area that we have a lot of pushback currently and we may see a solution in the future. So for this reason, I am personally going to hold off on submitting my forgiveness application to see if anything changes on this front. There's not really a huge rush here, so I'm personally gonna wait and I'll update you guys when I do actually submit it. If you choose to do the same, feel free to save this video and come back 
to it later because well, hopefully they use the same form. I guess they could change it, but it'll probably be this form whether we do it right now or in a few months from now. Also, if you have any questions about this process, comment them below and I'll do my best to offer any guidance. And if you want to support this channel, check out the link in my description for Weeble, where if you make an account and deposit $100, you will receive a completely free stock. It takes about five minutes, you get a free stock. It's not a bad deal. Until next time, I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope you have a profitable day.